As leaders, casting sticky vision is crucial to empowering those that we lead to make choices that are sometimes hard to move towards the vision that God is giving us. Proverbs 29:18 puts it this way, where there is no revelation or vision, people cast off restraint, but blessed is the one who heeds wisdom's instruction. Vision empowers the human heart to make choices and restrain itself from good options for the sake of the best thing. In this video, we're going to talk about how to cast sticky vision that sticks for people with different wiring. At different times, all of us will connect with the vision through our head, through our hands, or through our heart. All are important to getting sticky vision. When vision connects with our head, it offers us a framework that answers the question, what or why? When vision connects with our heart, it provides us with core motivation. And when we receive hands-on vision, we receive skills and tools that connect us with a way to begin to live out that vision. So let's look at some ways to cast vision that connects with the holistic human experience through our head, heart, and hands. First, our head. Here, as we begin to communicate facts and information, this connects us with a framework so that we can begin to understand where this vision fits into the way that we are living our life. Our heart, on the other hand, is connected to vision by tapping into our core motivations. This happens in a more relational way, and as we share personal stories or testimonies of what God has done, this motivates our heart to begin to engage with and see the reality of the vision that our head might not yet fully understand. Finally, as we interact with skills and tools through hands-on experience of vision, we get a practical understanding of this vision that's more than just a good idea, or more than just an emotion, but will actually be worked out. And this actually causes us to see some of the gaps in our understanding and to grow into really what, is, what will it take to live out this vision. So we need that hands-on side as well. So with those that we lead and in our own personal preference, we're going to be drawn towards one of these as the way that helps that vision stick with us the best. But it's helpful as leaders to find ways to cast vision that involves all three of these expressions or all three of these holistic levels of vision casting. We actually begin to find that as we connect with a vision from our head to our heart, we find a desire beginning to grow in us for the vision that our head might have caught. Or as our heart begins to grab a hold of it and connecting with the bigger picture of our head and the way that we think about it, our desire has a framework to engage with. We find that as the vision connects between hands and heart, we begin to actually have community and trust is built between people who have not only a common heart, but they have a common way of expressing that heart together as they're living it out together. Finally, as we connect our hands and our head together, we begin to develop structures that take the framework we might understand with our heads, and we begin to work it out with our hands, and we begin to find a workable structure that will put that vision into practice and into action. So what this means for us as leaders is that we need to be sensitive to the people that we're leading and what they need at a given time. And we need to be able to offer at any given moment a vision that will connect with the head, a hands-on way of experiencing the vision with their hands, and a heartfelt testimony or personal story that will capture the affections of those who are on our team and our community that we can cast vision they will engage with.